What do you see from their defense? They've got a pretty good number of rushing yards so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, when you when you talk their defense, you start with uh, Buda Baker. I mean, uh, he's all around the ball on every clip. Um, he negates a lot of big plays uh, for other offenses. And, um, so I think that locating him and knowing where he is at all times is the biggest thing. Is he just like another linebacker, basically? Or? I mean, yeah. I mean, he makes him right. He comes down flying. I mean, he might be 15 yards, but he's meeting the ball for a two-yard game. You know, he's coming in flying. He has great instincts. Um, I mean, he's a great player. He's been playing in this league a long time. Steno suggested yesterday that they've, they've got a pass play designed for you when you guys get close to the goal line. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got in the end zone last week, but you want to get this whole pass reception TV thing like over with? I mean, I really don't care. I mean, if I get it, I get it. Um, every week, I feel like we have a few of them uh, in the red zone of the, where the backs can potentially, like, you know, get the ball. Um, but, I mean, I don't care. If I get one, I do. If I don't. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like there's more opportunities for you to expand in the passing game, though, than what we've seen? It seems like when they do get you going that way, yeah. good things happen. Um, you know, I think it just depends on the game. You know, it depends on the defenses, how we, how they playing us. Um, but I like me in open space in any in any situation, any scenario. So we'll see. Maybe. What have you thought of being teammates with Trevor Pratt? <laughs> is he a little crazy? <laughs> he is a little, <laughs> he is a little crazy, but I love it. Like crazy in all the good ways. Uh, but man, I mean, you see the way that he plays, man. He comes out and works like that every day. Like he works like that. He's intentional with what he does. He's always positive, um, and he's going to give you everything he got. And I think that you know he's reaping the, the rewards of that right now. Uh, man, it's it's fun playing with a guy like that. that that'll give his put his body on the line for you getting hit by four people to get a first down, things like that. I mean, you got to love teammates like that. You kind of got into it there, but what are the good ways for a tight end to be crazy? <laughs> uh, Well, I feel like every tight end got to have a little, little screw because, like, what they do is not is not easy. You know, they're going against defensive ends, but then they're running routes against DBs, and they expect to win. Um, and, you know, being physical and – you know, uh, making big plays and open space and being able to run the way he he does, I think it take a different kind of mentality. He definitely has that. I've heard a bit of his trash talking. Any uh, <laughs> lines that you stick out for you? Uh, yeah, man, his trash talk. I told him you need to work on. It. I told him you need to work on it because it's it's too nice. I I think it's too nice. I think he got to get a little more gritty. He threatened to burn a house down. It's too nice. <laughs> Are you a trash talker? Let's say this, in, in, in team meeting today, um, coach put up a clip. He was like, watch what you say when you mic'd up. And I was basically talking trash mid-run during a running play. So, yeah. I mean, I say I do a little bit. I don't never start off trash talking, but it's like once once somebody said it to me, it kind of turned me up. So, yeah. You want to share what that was? Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to say it. Unless there's an example of like, one of your classics. Like trash talk moments, like maybe example. Nah, mine is mine is bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> mine is bad. Mine I would never repeat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not asking specifically about Rome here, but how do you think, how do you think this locker room handled it? I mean, I think everybody handled it good. I mean, we don't really, you know, know what he got going on. We just know that he wasn't here. You know, uh, so we all supported him. We all here for him. Um, you know, we let things play out how they did. I know you're not allowed to bet on sports, but do you bet on whether X is going to have an interception each game now? Man, y'all talking. <laughs> I was not trying to wish no bad luck on him, man. But, I mean, I told him if he get two more, he might as well call it off defensive player of the year, man. I mean, the way he's playing right now, the things that he's doing, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's, it's so crazy for me because I've seen him from, since his first day in college to now, you know. Um, and I'm just proud of him, man, all the work that he put in. He's very – Intensity. He's very, he's very, uh, you know, he's definitely the alpha on that, you know, in that, in that, in, on that defense. He's one of them guys that's going to come in and he's going to be mad if guys is not meeting his standard and meeting the, the standard that we set as a team. And I mean, he holds everybody accountable, so you got to love that. Do you feel you could have played last year? Uh, no. Hey, no. If I, if I could have played, I'd play. How have you progressed over the week? Uh, not bad. I got in a little bit more uh, team reps this week. Uh, last week I had, I had zero, so this week I had probably about 20 or 30 plays. Uh, maybe like 
15. Did you have any sort of setbacks or was it just working through the injury? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, everybody just wanted to make sure, like, I'm, you know, I'm fully healthy before I step back out there because, you know, we, dealing with the groin is pretty so – as a DB, you need that in a lot of cases. So they just wanted to make sure uh, everything was good to go. Do you know how you hurt? Uh, well, it really happened in practice. It really happened in practice. I was just breaking on the route. And, uh, yeah. is, is facing Kyler a lot like facing Lamar? Uh, I mean, a lot. Somewhat? Somewhat, yeah. Okay. But Lamar kind of, he's going to stay up when he's running. But Kyler's going to kind of fall down before you can get to him. What was the reason that you chose not to come to practice Thursday? Um, I have some things going on too. You know, I do not feel comfortable getting too deep into that. But just, you know, you guys hearing it for me, there's some things I have going on myself. And, you know, I did, I did my best communicating. Just thankful that you know that I'm here right now. You know, it was still close. Did you address the team when you returned? One more time, I'm sorry. Did you address the team when you returned to practice? Uh, I did. I did. Uh, I would not get too. I wouldn't get too deep into that. Uh, but you know, hearing it from me, I did address the team. Just part of it. I'm thankful I'm here now. Romeo, Christian was, Christian was saying that it might take a little while to get the family togetherness feeling back. Do you, do you feel that you need to earn the respect or trust back of your teammates? Yeah, that's, that's a great question, man. Uh, I want to, I want to. To be honest, I do not feel comfortable answering that. Just going to be as completely honest as I can. Um, but I'm thankful that I'm here now. What was it like when you first you know, returned back to the locker room? Did it feel awkward, uncomfortable? You know, what was like kind of the emotions for you coming back? Uh, no emotion, man. I think you know we just wanted to move forward. What was going on? And most importantly, just to, you know, be a pro and just handle it the right ways. What are your thoughts on your role in this offense? Uh, no, no comment, man. You know, we got a great, it's a, it's a great offense here. Got some ball players in our room. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even take, I wouldn't even go down. I think it's, it's much bigger than just obviously me individually finding my goal. But in this league, it's just winning football games. So did that have anything to do with the situation? Can you specify, please? Wanting a bigger role, wanting more opportunities. Was, was that at all a part of why you stayed away? I don't know. A couple of players have mentioned mental health. Are you okay? Yes, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. So if it wasn't just opportunities that made you stay away, what was it? My apologies, but I do not feel comfortable as fans or anything. So, next question. Is everything okay with your family? Every, everyone okay there? Yeah, so I had to make sure that uh, I got the family together again. I said there were some things going on off the field. So, um, you know, as far as just the organization and, you know, just the staff, players, um, there's nothing going on uh, within that area. So I just want to make myself clear there. But again, if we're just talking about the moment, I'm just, you know, thankful that I'm still here. You know, it's a great staff, great players, um, most of great support. So.
you that's said, all I have there. I meant like your relatives, family, like that. Yeah, 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 like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You said you're thankful that you're still here. Just to clarify, is that saying you're, you're, you're glad you're still in this locker room or have you asked for a trade, communicated for a trade in any way? Uh, no, I did not. Um, again, there was, again, there was just some things I had going on off the field. I just had to make sure that I had that under control. So. Do you wish you would have handled it any differently or are you okay with how you did? I absolutely wish I would have handled things differently. What would you have done? I know the difference. I know the What was this past? I don't know if the, if the suspension surprised you. What was this past weekend like? Obviously, going the team going back to your hometown, not being able to be a part of that. What, what was that like for you? It was tough, you know, but I'm glad that the guys got the win. I know they're going to always find a way to win. And uh, again, um, nothing else I can really say about stuff. Did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? Yes, I did. Two more for Romeo. Of course, what matters is your relationship with the locker room, but do you want to make a statement to the fans who might have questions about what happened? Um, it's, it's not as it's not as big as what they think it is, uh, and I know narratives are always created. And you know, just hearing it from me, it's, it, it wasn't it wasn't that big. What do you hope to show in this coming year? I'm a ball player. And I'm a team guy. So. Romeo, how do you want to move forward from this situation? I mean, just... just you got to slow down our progress, huh? Being a better communicator.